Hey, if you're going to be in the media, people are going to call you a fraud at some point. I've certainly had my own share of criticism as I've launched books and been on television and featured in films. That's going to happen. But what's happening with Jay Shetty right now reveals a very, very important question around fraud and representation. What I want to talk about in this short video is the word appropriation. Now, at the heart of the claims that Jay Shetty, extraordinary influencer, a podcast superstar, advisor to celebrities and dignitaries, at the heart of the claims against him right now um, is the fact that he did not spend as much time immersed in a monastic life as he claimed, and that he, in fact, was not as shaped or saturated by this uh, monastic Indian, East Indian tradition as he's claimed. Well, some would say, why does that matter? I mean, let's face it, if his teachings are good and he's read some great books and he somehow managed to transform it through his intuition and his intelligence, let the guy go. Like, just leave him alone and let him, let him be a superstar. He's helping people. Well, the problem is, if what opened people's minds to him if what allowed people to trust him was the fact that he, as a very handsome, blue-eyed, dark-skinned man with obvious Indian or Indian-related descent, claims to have been immersed in that tradition, then we expect that what he shares with us is representative of that tradition. Like, oh, we finally have a guru in the West who came from the ashrams of the East. That romance, that false sense of credibility, the belief that he was trained and formed by that ancient tradition was a foundation to his rise to success. Now, is it also true that somewhere along the way, after the claims were made and he gets in the door, that he could still do good things? Well, yeah, of course. I've heard his interviews. I like them. I've heard a lot of things he said. I like it. But the problem is that when our influencers misrepresent ancient traditions or modern traditions, then what happens is the colonial process continues. We have a successful celebrity talent that has built their identity on a foreign marginalized tradition, at least in the Western world. No one in, Indi in India would say they were marginalized, of course, and they shouldn't. But the point being that we need to look more carefully when any teacher makes a claim to represent or draw from a tradition. Myself, I've been immersed in indigenous communities and traditions for like 35 years of my life, and I rarely talk about it. And when I do, I'm extremely careful because I am conscientious enough to know that as a white-bred, Jewish-raised, Canadian man, I could never, ever speak for any of the healers, communities, cultures, or traditions that I have encountered. That would be deception. That would be a lie. And that would be dishonorable to those people who shared and taught me so much. Appropriation must be confronted in this topic. And let's face it, we need to be more alert and aware of how we appropriate in all fields of study and success.